Now we're going to get introduced to the short vowels in Arabic. So we have two. We have short vowels, short vowels, and long vowels. The short vowels, we call them ha raket qasira. Harakat Kasira, long vowels. Ha Raket Tawila. Harakat Kasira. Wa Harakat Tawila. Okay. So we're going to start with harakat qasira. Harakat qasira. Short vowels. We have uh, four main short vowels. We have fatha. Fatha. And it makes, it's a little dash on top of the letter. And it makes the a uh, sound. A uh, sound. So I can pick any letter I want. For example, b, and I would write it like that, and then put just fatha on top of it, and it will sound as b, b, b. If I put their second one would be dhamma, and it is a small wow on top. A small well. Let me zoom in so you can see the shape. A small well. And the dhamma it makes the u u sound. U. So if I'm going to write ba and then I will put the dhamma on top of it, that will sound as bu. 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 Then we have kasra, and kasra goes underneath the letter. So let me put the line here, so you know, underneath the letter, and it makes the e sound, e sound. So if I put b, and I put kasra underneath it, it will sound as b, b. So we have ba, bu, b. The other one is sukun. Sukun. And sukun is a circle on top of the letter. And it makes a pause. I would refer to it as the English shva, which is a pause in English phonetics. Uh, uh, uh. So if I put B and I put a dhamma, uh, I'm sorry, a sukun on top of it, a circle, then it is a pause. B, B, just B. So let's look at words. I'm going to just show you a, um, a word that has short vowels. B, Y, T, Bait, Bait. Ba, y, t, bait means house. Bait, bait, bait. See how I put the short vowels right on top of the letter. If I take another one, qit, qit. Qit, bait, house, qit, cat, male cat, cat, qit, let's take another one, qaf, lam, meme, 
قلم 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 The short vowels tell me the pronunciation of words. It's like the phonetics um, in English. In English, for example, you would have for the word book. That's how for for a, a non-English speak, speaker, they need to know how to pronounce the word book. So it would it is helpful to go to the phonetic trans um, translation, and it gives this pronunciation for book book. So basically, the short vowels they serve as phonetics. It, they tell you how to um, pronounce uh, Arabic words. So, قلم, قلم, pen, قلم, قلم. And so now let's get to the long vowels. Long vowels. So I'm going to write harakat. Harakat. Tawila. Harakat. Tawila. Long vowels. So um, there are three main long vowels. We have alif. Ya. And wow. These three long vowels are not consonants. They are just long vowels because none of them can take any short vowel. You cannot pronounce them. What gets pronounced is the sound that occurs before it. So let's look at this example. We'll take the ba again. So if I want to write ba and I want to add alif to it, it's ba. It makes a longer sound. Ba. Ba. And I take ba again and I add ya to it. It makes b. B. If I take ba again and I put wow, it makes bu. Bu. So alif makes ah. Long vowel. Uh, ya makes e long, and wow makes u longer sound. So you can take any any letter, and if you add long vowels to it, it makes that letter longer in sound, longer, and always with the letter that occurs before alif it has fatha. The letter that occurs before the long vowel, ya, yeah, it has kasra. The letter that occurs before wow always has dhamma. So let's take another letter. Let's take um, ta. I'm going to take, put the initial form. So I put ta. Fatha, of course, because I'm going to write long vowel. Ta. Ta. T, T, two, two, ta, T, two. If I compare the long vowels, the short vowels right here, with no alif, ya, or wow, ta, this would sound ta, T. Two. This ta, 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 t, 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 two, 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 two. Let me give you some words. Ba with a fatha, alif, long vowel, alif, look, it has no short vowels on top of it. Or hamza on top of it. 
ب ب ب ب ب ب ب means door ب ب let's just make a sound with the two letters b but with that long vowel b b b b which is not a word just a sound b b b b b b b b b b b b b b b long harakat harakat awila long vowel ba and short vowels bab me give you another one toot 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 teet teet and you can see the long vowels bab toot and teet teet so let's take actual words and look at them 